What is up guys, Jack 54 hd here and welcome to another episode of my Team of the Week Investing. Now, this is going to be a special episode and I'm going to do a Team of the Year Investing on the Defenders, mainly the ones that have been uh, released so far, which includes Cassias, I think, uh, Sergio Ramos, Danny Alves, uh, Gerard Piquet and also Vidic. So, um, for this first part guys, I'm going to show you what Team of the Year players I would choose for uh, to invest in. So, as you can see in my watch list, um, I have Cassias, Vidic, and Dani Alves, and of, and of course also Sergio Ramos. Now, um, I have actually missed out Gerard Piquet because I don't think he will be the most amazing player to uh, invest in. So, funny guys. Um, to be honest, I think Inform Cassias is going to completely rocket in price. Uh, as you can see here, he's going for around 500k. That will probably go up to around 550k, maybe even a bit more. Um, but for the moment, guys, he's going to be going for that. I'd say by around Sunday time, you'll be able to pick him up for around 450k to 400k. Um, depends how many really get released from now on. Uh, and depends whether there's going to be another happy hour or not before you know they get stopped in packs. Um, but to be honest, I can't see a 93 Cassias with 99 reflexing carrying on and going for 500k after Team of the Year's have been uh, stopped. So, something to keep in mind for, guys. Um, this next card, obviously, Team of the Year, Vidic. He is uh, obviously in a 4 and 2 and 2 as well. And he's been going for around uh, 900k or so, sometimes maybe 850. Um, but to be honest, he will rise. Uh, I think he could go above the million. But he's sort of a player that I'm not too sure on. Um, he is the only... Uh, well, he will actually be the highest rated in the Barclays Premier League, I believe. I don't think Rooney's any, any higher than him. Um, but, you know, I just think he could rise. I think it's a bit of a hit and miss with him. Um, you know, you never really know. I think... It, oh, I honestly don't know of that card. So I'm going to leave that one out, um, simply for the fact I don't want you guys buying a card um, when, you know... And then come and run, come running back to me, but he, you know I think he could rise. I'm I'm definitely sure he'll rise, um, but I think you could pick him up from about 750k if you wait till about Sunday, um, and then yeah, and, and then buy him. So, on to the next card, guys, and this is informed Danny Alves. As you can see here, he's got a bid for 791k. He will probably go for around 830k, somewhere around that mark. He's got obviously incredible stats, the fastest player in the game uh, with that 98 pace. So far, actually, um, when I say that, you know, you never know. Messi could have 99 um, pace or, you know, Ronaldo or something stupid like that. But, um, you know, for the moment, he's the fastest player in the game. Amazing stats. To be honest, I can... I'm not sure if I can see him going up any higher. Um, I don't know. He's just the sort of player which I think can stay around that mark just under the million, even after the team of the year has been stopped. Um but like I said, it depends how many have been uh, put onto the market. And of course, I think this is on PS3. So Xbox, you could be looking at about 100k less for these players. So next card is Inform Sergio Ramos. Now, this is a player that's a lot cheaper than the others. But, you know, you've got to be looking at them defending stats, guys. And obviously the pace in in between. So as you can see here, he's got 91 defending and 96 heading. That is unbelievable. Um, I'd say he's about the same as Cassias. He will probably, you know, sell for the same amount of sim as you can see. Cassias is actually going for 519k. Uh, that would probably be a good deal, but someone's just bid 540. So, you know, it does go up quite a bit. Um, back to, you know, Sergio Ramos. And to be honest, guys, I think he could go up to about 700k, maybe 650k. Um, I'm just trying to balance it on last year's prices from what I can remember of, you know, the, some of the team of the year players and how much they're, you know, sought after and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure about this guy, he will rise. I think you could pick him up for just under 500k during Sunday um, and definitely make some profit, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, on to the Team of the Week players now, guys. Um, I've basically just picked these two and I've got one in my trade pile, which I'll show you. As you can see, Bellamy has got um, incredible stats. You know, 84 pace, 86 shooting, and 84 dribbling. That is honestly a really good player there. And as you can see there, when I just searched him for the last by now, that was the last one. So that's why he's obviously been binned. I think in a couple of days' times, you'll be able to, you'll be able to pick him up for discard price, maybe just a bit over, seeing as he got, has got some pretty decent stats. Um, 
Pierre Gosi plays for a, a kind of, well, a sort of the league, obviously, and obviously a sort of the club. So on to the centre-back now, guys. And Koscielny, he has got 71 pace. Um, he's sort of the same card as Colaccini. So, they're, you know, he's kind of a pacey centre-back. You don't see many centre-backs with that much pace. 83 defending and 85 heading. So he's got, you know, pretty decent defending stats as well. He will not let you down at the back. Um, to be honest, I think he could be a bit weak, but, you know, he will definitely go above 20k. Probably actually settle around the 19k mark, maybe around there. Um, but, guys, you know, this is up to you guys. Um, you can't put all your trust in me all the time. Um, I think I will be right about the Marlos, though. You will see he has gone down for the moment because people are trying to undercut each other. But I can tell you now, he will rise because, you know, a lot of them will just go off the market and stuff like that. So... Um, on to the last player now, guys, in my trade pile. Now, I picked this guy up last night, and he's already risen quite a bit. Um, I picked him up for 53,000 coins. Um, the reason why it hasn't said anything here is because I switched him with my mate for... I actually bought a 4-3-3 version, and he was playing uh, a 4-3-3 four, three, three formation and said, do you want to swap my 4-4-2 four, four, for your 4-3-3? Four, three, three? So that's why I did it. Um, so pretty much the same price, 52k, I believe I picked him up for... And, uh, you know, it's a pretty good price. I think he's already, the lowest by now at the moment is 60k. So I'm hoping to get around 80k for him in about a month's time. You never know. But the only worry is his is he could get another inform. Obviously, because the Barclays Premier League League's out, uh, well, still in season. But um, what I do recommend when this happens, guys, is if, if you know they're getting another inform, just sell him as soon as you can because he is going to rock it down if, uh, you know, you don't have. If you still have him when the next super inform comes out, sorry, second inform. Um, but yeah, guys, just that's just my recommendations for the team of the week investing and also team of the year. If you have enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way at all, then please be sure to hit the like button. It does help me out a lot. And other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I will probably do another episode of this tomorrow for the team of the week midfielders and any other players that do get released for the team of the week. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.